Hi everyone, hope you're okay. So this week we're going to start looking at volume. Okay, we're going to start by looking at volume where there we've got the pictures of the cubes that are inside the shape. Okay, so the volume is a 3D shape. Okay, and it's the space that fills the 3D shape. So what we could do here is we could imagine this was fully built and we would count up the squares that are there. Okay, so to find the volume, that's what you do. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Okay, so it's twelve on each layer. There are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven layers. So it's 12 by seven, which is 84. So the answer to this one would be 84 because there would be 84 cubes in that shape. OK, we're going to do it slightly differently, like we've done with um, area where we were counting the squares but we were still writing down the dimensions that will help us to come to do questions when there aren't any squares. OK, so this is this is set up in a way on the slideshow uh, for when it comes to do your questions, similar to this, except it says depth, width, um, height and volume across. OK, I've just done it this way so I can do all three for you. OK, and you're going to set it up the same as I am. So you're getting the idea of how to work out the volume. OK, we know that it's 84, okay, and our units are centimetres cubed, okay. So the depth of the shape is how far back it goes. So I can label that there. So that is D for the depth. So I can see it goes back three, okay. So it goes back three centimetres. These are each centimetre squares, okay. The width is this here. So this is our width. OK, so it's four across. OK, and then we've got a height, which is obviously this one. So how many high did I say it was? It was seven, wasn't it? Seven centimetres. OK, so how would we get to the answer of 84? Well, you saw what I did here. I counted that there were 12 on top. So how would I get 12? Well, I would do three times four. OK, three fours are 12. And then I multiplied it by seven because there were seven layers which gives me the 84. So the calculation that you need to do to work out the volume is multiply those three numbers together. So three times four times seven, and it would give me the answer. OK, so it's that straightforward. So to work out the volume of a cuboid, you multiply the three dimensions together. So let's have a look at the second one. So the depth on this one is two. Uh, the width is one, two, three, four, five, six. And the height is one, two, three, four, five, six as well. OK, so to work out the volume, I'm going to do two times six times six. Well, six six is a thirty six and thirty six times two is seventy two. So seventy two centimetres cubed. OK, the last one, um, the depth is four. The width is three. And the height this time is five. So I would do four times three times five. Well, four times three is 12 and 12 fives are 60, 60 centimetres cubed. You could check that your answers are right by imagining this whole cube in front of you and counting up the squares. But that's all you need to do. I don't mind if you want to check your answer on a calculator. That's absolutely fine. Um, but I want to see you showing me the dimensions because that will come to help you on Wednesday's lesson. OK, so have a go at the questions now.